Hey, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be trying out this new Apre Extend Gel and their new Whitney tips from their Neutrals collection. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna use my Valentino Bond as usual on my nails that are already prepped and ready to go. I did a quick soak off and I was so excited to use these new tips and this new Extend Gel. Let me know what you guys think. Are you excited for this new product? What are your thoughts? So I'm gonna size my tip and um, etch on the inside and get it ready to adhere. I'm gonna dust it off, make sure everything is nice and clean before we move on to the next step. All right, so let's get to the fun part. Let's open up this Extend Gel and let me know what you guys think. If you have tried this, I'm really excited to know what your guys' thoughts are of this product. I will let you know my thoughts at the end of the video. So I'm going to take this little spatula that I got from Shein and I'm going to scoop some out and at first I just really did not know how much I was going to need. Um, I was just kind of testing it out and seeing what happened. So with this nail, I'm going to test out just scooping some out and putting it into the spatula. I think, you know, if you... It's not about making this a thick application because it could get really easy to make it thick because the product just does not move. So adding little by little, you really get to see how much you need and get a feel for it. So definitely try it out in different ways and you'll see what's best for you. It may be different from what I like to do. So make sure you're trying out different ways on every finger. At least you get five to ten different um, chances to see what you really like. So I'm just kind of patting this in, but I feel like what this did was kind of create some air bubbles and it just, I didn't really like how it looked at the end as much as the other nails, but now that I'm looking at it, it looks exactly the same. So you tell me. Um, we had a little bit of spillage, but that's okay because it's so easy to clean. It's a breeze to clean. Uh, I can't believe I just said it's a breeze. But anyway... We're going to squeeze it and I'm just kind of putting it on. I'm not testing it out at all because I was kind of scared. So I just wanted to move as quick as possible on my first one. And you can see now I'm just taking off the excess and you're just going to apply it as you would a regular, a regular gel X nail, except that it's very, very secure. I'm not sure, you know, what it is is it just that much thicker or what but it is very very sturdy before you cure it which is amazing however my first impression was the more uh, gel you put on the higher the heat spike is going to be so make sure you're kind of starting away very far away and then you can get a little bit closer or regular distance to your little nail lamp that's what I learned on my first nail. Now let's go ahead and try it again. So I'm going to take some and actually just scoop it out. If you get some like little air bubbles, that's okay. They might squeeze out. Um, and then you can see here the excess that came out on the outside of the tip. I'm just tucking it back in with my finger. And I'm going to apply it on a 45 degree angle. And you can see it's pretty stuck. It's not moving. Let's say you had to take a little break or do whatever you had to do and you can actually stop do whatever it is and then go ahead and put your lamp on and dry it there's not going to be any movement whatsoever if you do have not enough of the gel on uh, you can go ahead and take it off as I just did and you don't want to have any little air pockets so just go ahead and pick it up and put it back down and it'll smooth out any air pockets that you have. I find that if you have a little bit extra, the better you have the seal and the adhesion. And if some comes out, you can see how easy it is to scoop it out. So I wasn't even concerned about uh, the spillage because I knew how easy it was to clean. And at the end, I have none on my fingers. And, you know, they do say about contact dermatitis and having product on your skin it was on there for such a minimal amount of time in the long run it could do some damage but not much all right so i'm gonna just keep kind of cleaning up 
this nail and you can see you know we're ready to go and it's not moved and we're just gonna go ahead and cure it starting further away the better but i just took it like a champ and i just i just cured it <laughs> i just cured it so if you have really the nail beds you're gonna want to be careful use the least amount of product as possible all right, next nail, we're just going to scoop some out. As you can see, I kind of liked this method, which is better than just using a spatula and then transferring it. Um, it's just something a little bit different that you can do. And you can see I kind of moved my fingers around and I really just wanted to see if if I moved, it, what would happen. So it stood on really, really well. This is going to be a gel that's not only for beginners, but anyone that is going to do your nails, even if you have a lot of trouble with your non-dominant hand, especially if you have trouble with your non-dominant hand, you're going to want to have this gel on hand. Now, just keep in mind, the thinner the coat of gel, the better, because these have very, very strong adhesion. You want to make sure, especially, you don't want to find out if you have thin nail beds or not. So just assume that you do and just do a very small amount of glue as much as it takes to get to the tip. And even if you got to squeeze half of it out, you know, do it and clean it up, especially if you have a little spatula. It's going to be so easy to clean. Okay, so what nail are we at now? All right, we're at the ring finger and we're going to just angle it. And then you can see here, you can pause, squeeze. And I think this one, I had to squeeze it a little bit more. So just make sure you look underneath, which is something I did not do. Look underneath and make sure you squeeze it all the way because on my ring finger, I, ha I have a little bit of a, a gap, but it's so small that it's not going to be an issue. But just make sure you're looking all around your nail. And if you have too much product, you'll be definitely able to tell underneath because it's going to be a huge gap. All right, now let's move on to the pinky. I really love this product. And as we're getting into, as we're getting to the end of the video, let me know what your thoughts are. I would love to know. And yeah, I, I really love this product. So on the pinky, I'm trying a little bit different. You can see I'm kind of sliding the product up as if I just did like a little coat and then sticking the nail on. And I actually really like this method because it felt much more snug and secure. So I think I'm going to try this out next time. Just kind of adding a thin coat on my natural nail. And we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm going to be doing my other hand and testing it out as well. So uh, stay tuned for that next video. And we'll make do some little designs and stuff um, in the videos to come. So yeah, thank you for watching. And let me know what you think. This is the finished result. We just cleaned it up. And look how beautiful and natural without adding anything else but just the extent gel. All right, I'll see you in the next video and don't forget to let me know what you think. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.